Hello there, Roblox fan 75,000 here, an entrepreneur of my content creations, generally innovative, and aesthetic complex deluxe, best known for my Sparta remixes, and many others. You probably remember my recap video from last year, right? Well, here we are with a recap of this year, 2023. And for this one, I'll be explaining the entirety of all the events that happened all around, and there will be three chapters of it. First will be the main events taking place from this year, second will be an unfolded event of my internet experience, and in real life, and third and last will be my conclusion, and please note, to reduce witch hunting, no names at all costs will be mentioned out of confidentiality, some names that I'll heads out for the importance that are mentioned throughout this recap are written in a way that no further drama and backlash ensues. And yes, this is the statements I have reiterated from my recent recap, but a bit of a difference applied to it. And of course, I'm going to be using other text-to-speech voices for narration so it'll be better the way that it should pronounce any words correctly during this. Oh, and one more thing before we go on to this, this video had no intent to relive any bad memories, all that says is to get it off my chest, so, without further to do, let's go through with this, shall we? To begin this, this has got to be one of the most devastating parts that I have to explain, and at the same time, stuff happening around 2022, including 2023 itself. Several users and other people have turned into, child groomers, predators, etc. This included Yandra Dev, Volutile, Ninja Muffin 99, Burn Show, Too Mad, Dream, etc. I get it. Some of the recaps consist of some grooming incidents that happen throughout on social media and other things, but it might be unnecessary to talk about this when this happens, but I'll just have to explain fewer things that commenced. What took place was that the year has a decline in the severity of the COVID-19 pandemic, with the World Health Organization ending its global health emergency. On top of that, there was an announcement from the US that the alleged high-altitude objects, Chinese spy balloons, that have no information collected, drifted over America, South Carolina, Yukon, Colombia, and Brazil before one of them was shot down the next day. Then an earthquake from Turkey and Syria, a stormy hurricane in New Zealand, and a banking crisis that caused numerous American regional banks to collapse due to small to mid-sized US bank failures. Then there was the death of Henry Kissinger, the death of Ushin Wernary, and there was a controversy that was taken from Twitter when Elon Musk killed it and rechristened and rebranded the platform into X by Musk's fondness, it'll be worse if Elon is about to get rid of the block button in that platform. It's true, to be honest. Oh, and there's the same thing that happened to Patreon too, the logo that's been shaped like a blob. However, in users' opinions, it doesn't look perfect for a bit. And there was a horrific war happened around October, that Hamas governs the Gaza Strip, led an attack on Israel, and leading the latter to declare war on Hamas. According to technology, there have been generative AI models that continue to rise with increasing applications such as machine learning, natural language progression, and multiple essential subjects, and according to what I found out not more than a month ago, E3, as an electronic entertainment expo, a video game industry company, has officially shut down after two decades. I don't see what the further context of this sort of thing is, but if any of you do, please let me know. May sound like a short introductory chapter I know, but to make it longer, let's proceed with the next one. As I was kicking 2023 off, in January, I was convinced that it could be much better, unlike last year, even if things that happened last year affect the next year. And in two weeks later, I started posting my art when 2023 arrived, after it took me a lot of time drawing stuff and sometimes doing 3D text until I finished it. Suddenly, what I've heard is some troll on one of the platforms, started stalking me and one of the others out of stupid nonsense again, that Lithuanian kid who's always baiting us all the time. 
I don't even know what's got onto that kid anyway every time he trolls people before getting his account deleted and makes a new one which according to it was called the quote unquote evade bans. There's also advice just to ignore and block this user who always baits people whenever he comes by. I was a victim of that kid's BS before I took advantage to stop him before I moved on, even though things aren't and may not be stopped. Then on January 28th, this morning, I was going out to church with my family sometimes every Saturday, and always get baptized to ensure that we're Christians which is normal, and when I got back home and went into Discord, this kid continued doing this again, on my server when he started leaking my FA account in the archive platform once again, with updates to it attempting to tell someone trash talk about me doing arts in that platform that I was involved in which it's so embarrassing if people know that I was doing in this platform is just too sussy, but worse. Luckily, I take care of it, as I must prune all these mentions about me, and some problems that it's been brought up, but I wanted to put this kid in timeout who doesn't listen to my rules, as well as calling me out in my server in general, as well as talking crap about autism. Then this baited kid started it again towards me around February, when this baited kid noticed that I was supporting someone named Flaky B, a Go Animate slash Beyond user, despite her controversy going on until later but that doesn't sort things out in some way and continues the same crap towards me again. Now I don't even know to some sort happened in February, so let's just skip to the next. Around March, this is just such a trouble that I've ever been involved doing it, but I'm not feared enough to explain this. Well, you see, I was even doing a shitpost for quite a while trying to make something was funny or not, while I was working on my previous Sparta remix, which was going to be another big one with various visual effects coming by. However, they say that I don't have to put a lot in there, but oh well, and after I've simply posted some shit post, this is just simply the worst critique that I've been hearing through my head, accordingly saying that I've been one of the unfunny people they've met, and think that I was being annoyed just because I was trying to talk to people thinking that I was pissing them off, and people yelling at me in that kind of act affects me mentally, telling me to stop, and never talk to them again. This is starting to hurt me that not only have I started venting about stuff happening around Discord a people thought I was just unfunny, as well as pissing them off, even though I was trying to apologize just putting an effect to my motivation so badly, and what I'm seeing in the comments is just worse of what I'm seeing, or what's worse of what I'm hearing that people calling my venting stream stupid, like what the hell, is just serious, or I don't know laughing hard at my venting streams just because I've been suffering much when I've been getting yelled from my dad since 2022 sometimes when things are starting to go downhill which it makes it difficult for me to explain why I was venting streams from my dad yelling at me for something. These people thought the explanations I've stated from my venting streams were just funny, but really, it is not, seriously. With enough words I've explained about this incident, let's move on to the worst things that happened on social media. It started giving me nightmares of mine, but I'm afraid enough to explain. Just one or two weeks later, I was about to be ready for my high school to learn new things, but in the same classes, and at the same time in the second semester. And when I got into my phone, I knew that I was logged out of YouTube for a minor inconvenience. Suddenly, when I tried to log in, I noticed that my Google account had been severely hacked, as my emails and password had been brute forced, even though I had a 2FA but all of a sudden the hackers were too smart to identify my account info. What I noticed was that the email that had changed had come from a disposable temporary email I was able to get it to bring my hacked account back by requesting Google to send a link to recover my account, until abruptly some hackers attempting to cancel my request every time I've tried countless ways to get it back, and okay I get it, the email from this platform is in public, don't judge me as I assumed, so, then I have to private this email that's been hacked and to ensure that I'm able to bring it back sooner for a break. Anyways, moving on the Q2. In many days around April, I've found a minority of friends between Twitter and Discord, as I've encountered in some of the furry Discord servers I've joined, starting to communicate, and introducing the art that I made that relates to furry things around social media, it worked out pretty great, and it's the only way to find more friends and starting to have fun online. And during that, this has got to be the worst situation I've ever been involved with. I was responsible for causing drama dwells in the SR community discord servers about being a victim of associating with people's old self associate prior to blocking me just because of giving them a single like to her recent tweet, clarifying that she was aware of being her old self too long and decided to pursue into her new self. 
I understand that this pisses you off that the topic I brought up as a drama is just clearly off limit, but worst of all when I'm trying to apologize for some inconveniences, these people ordering me to quote unquote shut up with that kind of moody manners, and not letting me to talk anything in the public. This goes to show that in my thoughts people are not accepting my apology, even though the mistakes I've made a minor thing, and if it's less problematic. However, some people accept my apologies for these mistakes which was fine to me, and it should help me to heal my mental health from growing severe. Weeks later, I had another chance to get my hacked Google account back before it locked access after many attempts, and approximately two days later, I finally got an email from Google that the link had been received, started typing new and strongest passwords and boom, finally went back into my hacked Google account, and got everything re-secured. However, Despite the hackers deleting my GMAIL stuff prior to that incident, I decided to create a Yahoo account to transfer my Google email to a different platform. According to my hacked hijacked YouTube channels prior to its false termination, I was making an appeal to the YouTube team about this monumental incident that happened in March before my channel's mistaken termination that I own this channel, not theirs. Then in many days around May, my YouTube channel was finally reinstated after almost two months of hacking. However, my username that has zeros changed to O's, and it's because the teams justified that one of my names RobloxFan75000 doesn't even meet their names policy. I have no idea how YouTube manages to restrict my previous names when my username is formed in special or general, and not to violate the policy, but oh well, still glad that I have this back and got it back and have a lot of fans supporting me. But a day later, things continued to grow downhill. As I had been experienced these people dragging me as a victim in Discord over to something regarding one of the arts from DeviantArt I imported to one of my successes Sparta Remix, Tiger Sparta Augment X Remix, in between one or two segments. I was barely trying to explain everything I've been doing ever since and people are interrogating me to crap, and then starting to make fun of me and some shit. Thus, I got really stressed out to the point that not only that I've started venting another crap about these people dragging me out about one of the videos that I put, interrogating me at such a severe level, and then all I heard that someday that they're joking, and pointing at me out that I've been taking things very seriously, and days later I've been forced to stop giving them attention to the public of what is going on, like the way I'm talking about is that people are trying to quote unquote getting me into trouble for some crap, they've been saying that it was an inconvenience, but it's just worse. After this whole crap I'm seeing that it's been alleging me, I've grown mentally severe about things that could get any worse when people started talking shit to me, like interrogating me about why I put any arts I imported into one of my Sparta remixes when these remixes I made are supreme, with more creative I've constructed for big energy, impressive elegances, etc. Regardless of that, at the end of my school journey, I graduated high school for being honor rolled and I earned a silver medal for participating after four-year degrees in school full-on. I'm also described as an outstanding painter and have such good skills traditional arts and other things, as well as a best known for the class of 2023, and I'm going to miss several of my classmates, teachers, and other people I know, that we made for a past few years, we had so many memories of being in high school with them, and hopefully, I can see them again in the foreseeable future. It's been one of those days since I've missed going to school and learning new stuff and skills and seeing some of my friends and classmates we've met. Hopefully, if I'm fulfilled to register to college as soon as my parents plan for it. Moving on to Q3. Around June this summer, my family and I went out camping in northern Michigan, munising for a week, just like we went there in 2022. However, it's starting to go cold, misty, and cloudy this summer. It is quite upsetting that we must wear winter clothes as the weather is beginning to cool down the temperature which gives us a miserable week of camping. Albeit, we still had enough fun out there. During our week of camping, the drama of Discord began to stir up when people preferred one of the other as Roblox fan JR, after anyone who thought that one of the members named Maverage thinks that people thought of him being an idiot, and some people agreed on preferring it too. Maverage and I are so discomforted and overwhelmed by the crap that it's continuing, as we've tried our best to redeem ourselves, and while I was out camping in those days. In my knowledge out of context, these are the main cases of controversy and drama relating to me taking place in Discord that started hurting me and had an effect on my motivation or career. I was trying to give communication and truth to the people we've heard, and so on. Since the weather had cleared the sky and finally saw the sun, 
We decided to get back home after this miserable camping, all because of the misty and cold weather however, but it still had a fun week at camp as we stayed there, and travel near the forest and others. And suddenly around June 21st at night, this is one of the worst outcomes that I've ever had to address, and I'm not afraid enough to mention it. I was at the VC along with the others playing Roblox after joining that new SR community discord server a day ago, which was pretty obvious by now, and suddenly around that time, I saw one of the 14 5 year old new members getting his FA account and noticed that he ended up lurking into my FA account and going into my galleries, when it was justifiably restricted from guests for a good reason, ended up publicly leaking it into the VC, and began making fun of me over to some arts I posted months or years ago in this platform. The outcome is that I've been accused of drawing content that people condemned in two things, fetish arts, and 18 plus content, even the arts on this platform I posted are called suggestive arts, and simply SFW. However, people kept continuing to label it as it is. Many times I've heard these people on that server, especially in the DMs scolding me that I shouldn't be posting that kind of content on that platform underage as everything I'm trying to give clarification or explanations about what I draw or who inspires me to make one, and not to make it too suggestive. These people are continuing bringing this up, and it just never stopped until later it should stop. This goes to show that some people were taking things about my art I made people claim in honest detail out of proportion, but trust me, it was just flat out annoying, even though some types of art can be related to the whole, or so. Let's face it, I've been doing art most of the time in general, and I've sometimes drawn suggestive content but it's only SFW that should be viewed by 15 or 16s only. However, drawing suggestive art is a little bit of a problem of people criticizing and labeling it as sexual, or fetish. What I have to say is that making stuff comparing in between general SFW art and suggestive art that I was making is a normal thing, besides, my artwork is always excellent, and I have good talents with it. Of course, I was only 17 years old until around July, and I can still draw any art whatever I want, but I must be careful whatever I'm drawing, and it doesn't mean that I'm drawing lewd, NSFW, or some like that at all. This is why you need to take precautions for yourself whatever you draw from the start. Always draw general art keep suggestive art off the public and find anything that's private or something. If you want to keep your abilities, and hobbies the way you have, end of story. Many days around July, my dad, my brother, and I went into the town street fair, walked around there, and started paying for anything that we could buy, and some food that we could eat. One thing I remember is that my brother and I were playing a big Jenga for quite a while, and it was fun, my brother also wanted me to record this before the big Jenga fell into the ground, until the rain came by, and we have to get home, despite it only lasted around few minutes, and we should have been there any longer but it's fine for us to be back home. And before we get through the huge scene happening in Discord, there have been more of not just outcomes, but one of my worst nightmares of mine that became an official reality. I was blatantly, and likely irrationally accused of the crap that it was much worse than the ones from 2022, and my anxiety is keeping me from spitting it all out. The only thing that I knew is that fact when someone is making feedback and criticism about people's Sparta remixes, while I was talking about how I typed a few words in the description just like I did in the community post. And then until I got all the sudden, I got annoyed by someone who brought up again that I posted stuff about being unfunny, I was responsible for committing such a huge mistaken outcome, the way I committed is, in fact, transphobia, which has blasted it huge scene, even I have nothing to do to resolve this crisis. This is one of the deepest graves I've dogged myself into. Prior to the fact that I've been banned from that server, that I've been here for a very long time. And days later, I was working on the apology letter to the people we've heard about these incidents, and I asked the owner of the server that I needed another chance to re-participate in the community, so we could live a normal life again, but unfortunately, no words or chances are given from them, as they just don't know what to say. This is just a miserable reply that I've been hearing after I was appealing the owner's DMs. All I said was I needed another chance to re-participate, but, nothing. They should have said something whenever I've been kindly asking for another chance to get back into the server before we move on, but I wanted to give things out for respect. And to be honest, this just took such a severe toll on my mental health and made my motivation more and more low. Not only that, but that made my emotional mental health and lack of motivation worse for me. As days went by, after I turned into an official, 
young adult, turning 18 years old, I can't believe what I have to say and what I've been seeing two things came out, people in the other server I was in ended up sending negative criticism to my previews, others condemning me that I was turned from well loved into well hated, as well as falling me off, and the same guy named Lanzo, who in my friend's server exposing my actions, my arts from FA, and pinging my friends to understand that he's been talking shit about me, even going as far as to call me a crybaby which that insult is very fucking antagonizing in my eyes. I was trying to explain this crisis and try to have people believe me, well guess what, Barley did anything. However, I just got stressed out even more that not only did I have to delete all that shit that's been relating to me in the venting room, in a higher record when the controversy began to escalate, but I wanted to block this user for exposing me in public about my actions, and my arts from FA, as well as calling me out, and spreading the words about me which it'll make it difficult for me to decompress these situations relating me that's been coming from them. My anxiety and my mental health is growing more severe in my personality, seriously. And at the end of the month, these controversies and allegations had been going on for about four consecutive months, until it was finally over. For my thoughts about what happened this July, this is essentially where the allegations left an unsafe scar around my sentiments. As I said, the drama relating to me taking place from March to July had left many indefinite scars around my sentiments, and I don't think I might ever be the same that I used to be. Now with that settled, as I have explained enough words of these incidents happening around July, let's move on to next. As August came around, I came up with a new theme that goes more renovative, to bring back my color Roblox fan 75,000s name, but to give it a retro feel, a mascot with colorful streaks in hair, and a redesigned shirt, a hat with a new colorful strokes on the bottom, more details on shoes, and pupils expressions. I also did an intros and outros upgrade with a bit of a difference, and also did a well designed banner, etc. And then I did a comic art that I drew and may look like an anim scene of my transforming myself into a new renovative look prior to my reference and a gif version. Oh, and according to the music I was working on. However, still started losing motivation from working on it, or maybe, probably sounds well in the mixer, but probably needs more efficiency to it, just as I thought that it needed to be clean or organized probably. The only thing that I need to make better music is to give the sound good effects and compression and not mess up the layouts when mixing, probably the point that I was talking about music. Suddenly around September 3rd, that was our last nerve when this kid, once again, continued trash talking to us and started going into a quote unquote disjointed conversation due to the fact that he's been thinking of us monkeys and other stuff that I can't explain clearly of what it was, but I let that part slide. Due to our last nerves, and the last straw, staffers, including me, began banning Raymond Oski and Adida after finally had enough, and was officially done with this constant BS. We're congratulated for doing that honor, and got things simmered down from the situation, and it's been the way to save my community server, and so on. The main point is this kid has been clearly acting like an asshole, and always being racist toward many people in that religion, as well as disrespecting their identity for nonsensicality. He should have learned to stop whatever he was doing, seriously. Around that time, I spent a day working on one of the energetic, short remixes that I'm making, and it was going to be inspired by Kapuma. However, I may not have enough time to finish the whole thing, except for the audio, since I must refocus on my art and other stuff that I have to do, including one Neo Black Cat references that I could redesign, with a bit of detail I put in here. During my progress in arts, my family and I went out to Frankenmuth for a fun vacation, a way we could walk around the area, and enjoy listening to Oktoberfest music, despite the intimidating loud hissing coming from a beer truck sometimes. In many days after a fun time at Frankenmuth, my mom wanted me to come with her and her friends to Canada in Niagara Falls, asking if I wanted to go with her, and sometimes driving to Toronto and ordering food for dinner. Both trips are fun to venture anywhere between the US and Canada. And when I get back into music that I'm working on, I might be struggling with constructing them correctly, since I might have known that it doesn't even sound very perfect in the mixer. However, the build-up and the chorus are still good as I've been working hard on that, which it was fine, hopefully, if I had to finish this around next month since I've been getting this delay on several occasions, but this is going to be my opportunity for my talents. Moving on to Q4, 
a further step of October, I've planned for another Doodletober challenge this month of Halloween since I might spend daily days doodling them before the end of October, whenever I still have enough time to do so. Around that time, things are getting into a serious problem in real life. Me and my dad went into an argument about why his husky was in my brother's room, while I was in my room when they were gone, the way he yelled at me to come here as I told him not to put me into a situation again, and interrogated me of what am I sick of. This is so conflicting when my parents yell at me why I having their dog in my brother's room and getting involved in this, even though the husky followed me by my brother's doors and wanted him to sleep there while I was going into my room, and I swear I never wear my headphones at all during this. Since November, I've been encouraged to resume my work from my previous music that I started working on in September, now to be submitted for the Rhythm Games, as there might be an extra submission stage for free before November 18th. It's been days since I've been working hard on that music, while I was working on my arts and stuff, and as I finished, I have one of my friend named Wyvern, who helped me naming this music for the Rhythm Games free submission. Oh, and according to someone telling me that my name is a quote-unquote copyrighted property, I have to name myself with a new alias with an R letter name, just to ensure that I can reveal my alias name as soon as my music pops up in the rhythm game. However, one of my partners is asking if we're able to make collab music for the rhythm game before November 18th. Unfortunately, there won't be enough time, and I'm very nervous if I had to be in the VC and gives discussions about what we're about to be doing. The problems thing in the way to make discussions is to make common sense and proper communications, but I'm kinda glad as I finished this music for this rhythm games before the deadline. And approximately around few weeks later, and passed from Christmas Day, I finally finished one of the biggest, but shortest Sparta remixes on YouTube, it was inspired by Kapuma. However, according to some people's opinions, but we'll just have to leave it is all the Sparta remixes fans and FNAF fans. I felt happy about how I made this very well, as people were very surprised at how I made it so epic, with a different style. It's probably the styles I've tried to mimic. And finally, on the last day of 2023, one of the music I made for the album Sleepy Samples HD 38 Final Chapter Prologue, now being featured on SoundCloud, and saw many friends of mine wished me a happy new year, which heals me up and began a whole celebration, which I might post near future by all means. So in conclusion, 2023 has got to be an excruciating repeat of 2022. It was evil, heinous, horrendous, and believe it or not, every single mention throughout this recap had led me antagonized, along with the people I know, and I'm friends with. I was barely trying to do anything to these repressive incidents, principally the scandal controversies regarding the actions of me, and other things. Sure, we've been dealing with this crap for a past few months, but it may not stop me from trying to put an end to it. As I've said, that I have high hopes that 2023 could be better than 2022, because if we want to be better, we have to act better. But apparently, all these incidents had to slip, and if it's less problematic. And at the end of the day, the majority of these incidents, especially the scandal controversies of me, had destroyed me mentally and physically, and I can't even think straight because of it. I won't expect 2024 could be better, because things that happened last year will most likely affect the next year. Well, that's a wrap for this recap. If you enjoy it, and understand the conflicts and drama that I had go through on social media, and in real life, then give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, so you won't miss out. To refrain missing out, please ensure to click that bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by every single video I put on this channel. Thank you for watching, and see if you can have a better 2024.